Hello everyone, this is Chris. Uh, what we're going to do this week is we're going to do something just a little bit different and we're going to talk about a little bit of uh, scientific uh, research findings that was uh, released out of uh, Duke University uh, a few weeks ago. Some of the interesting things that they had uh, that they had released in their findings was that they were discussing the, uh, the theory of mind and their work with primates and it leads into uh, what they were talking about was uh, the uh, the concept of the the false belief pretty much where uh you know someone is able to be able to uh predict uh what you're thinking or things like that so this is what we're going to be talking about on the video uh what i want to do is i wanted to basically just give you a, an, an idea of, of what the the video is going to do um with the with, you know there's red dots on here so everyone kind of gets a little bit of a heads up what's going on in the video Okay, basically what the scientists were doing is they were using primates, uh, basically uh, using objects and hiding objects and using uh, characters that were jumping around and being able to cause confusion and so forth and so on. And, and all the while that the, you know, the, the chimpanzee over here is over here, you know, he's occupied watching, you know, all the drama unfold. But what the scientists were trying to do is they were trying to see if the, if the, uh, if the subject could be able to, you know, adequately predict okay uh, future events before they even happened okay so as you watch the videos there's two separate ones and as you watch them you'll be able to see that uh, they do seem to have this ability of being able to predict the outcome of uh, the outcome prior to e prior to it even happening uh, so you'll see these red dots bouncing around and I'll give you an example Let's see how the movement is the red dots okay. So the red dots are basically an apparatus that they've they've designed to be able to track the the pupils uh, of the uh, chimpanzees over here so what they're saying is that the red dots is is what the chimpanzees thinking of and this you know he's following you around and this must be what they're thinking of so um, it is interesting it's an interesting concept and they do seem to have this ability okay so you're saying okay Chris what's that got anything to do with what we're doing okay so uh, what it is is that we're going to tie this in a little bit because I thought it was interesting because um, of what's happened recently out here in our in our area um, sometimes uh, I honestly think what what we see out there you know time and time again sometimes I honestly think that you know out in this research area that we are the uh, the test subjects the chimpanzees with what goes on so it's 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 uh, interesting what we do find I will tell you this much uh, we are trying to get down you know to the bottom of it as best as we can but the, the there is a bottom line and the bottom line is we need more data okay so we don't want to jump to conclusions or or being rash but uh, the video footage it is what it is you know and and um, and so it is interesting to to see all that okay so we're going to go ahead and, and, and wrap this up real fast so you can go ahead and get onto the video. And um, I just hope everyone sees uh, what the intent is and how it correlates a little bit with what's going on in our research area. And I want to go ahead and then thanks everybody for your time. And uh, so uh, here we go.
there we go. Okay, that's the battery test, as you can see the batteries. Okay, that's the one that's charged. This is the one that's depleted. Okay, that's mine right there. Okay, and there's the two balls. There's one. Hold on, don't don't touch, don't touch. I gotta film everything. Now there's the balls and the stuff down here. I don't see the batteries at all, Chris. Okay, all right, so, um, as you can tell, the batteries are missing completely, and the conch is in right where we left what it. we remember to be the exact same place, okay? The cup has been flipped, the cup is uh, flipped right side up, which is not the way we leave it, and I don't know where the other bag is. I smell a skunk smell. Yeah. Hold on. Could it be we're in the middle of a hunt? Yeah, we're we're not welcome here. I can tell now. I smell a skunk odor. Yeah, there's something. We're not welcome here. I can tell. Here, Just throw this in my rock. Just throw it in the back. Mm -hmm. Here, you take this. Just throw it all in there. Because, uh, you know, we're not armed. I don't have no bullets. So, I want to say the, uh, the, um, the good battery is missing. The good battery is missing. I'm sitting on that pine tree right now. Okay. Coming to the left. The mosquitoes are out. Yeah, as soon as we went off the road, they, the vocals got somewhat active. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing a doing some filming to see if we see anything later on. I, I feel like they use the wind to mask their vocals when we're in the area. The, the cup up the cup is right side up of course. hold on let me film that yeah the cup is right side up always is yep hold on mark don't touch anything to shit Look at this. 
that's been flipped. That's been flipped also. Yeah. Oh, hold on. And look at this. Don't don't touch anything. Sound, I mean, great. don't battery. don't touch anything. Oh my God, the battery's back. And it's on top. It was not like that last week. Oh my gosh. That was not there last week, Chris. All right, everybody. <coughs> okay, so here we go. Here we hang go. on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Hang on. This is all worth talking about. And you know, this is in a pattern right here. It's three. Yeah, it's in a triangle. Okay. All right. So let's talk about this. Y'all pay attention to what goes on around us. Okay. Yeah. Clearly, yeah, last obvious. week. Be right back. Okay. Clearly, last week we were here. It was just. It was just Mark. Are you in camera, Mark? I'm. I'm filming that way. Um. Clearly, we were here last week. I found something back here, Chris. <laughs> All right. I told everybody last week. All right. We found. We found the one dead battery. Okay. All right. So let's. Okay. Okay. This is worth. This is worth talking about. Yeah, it's worth talking about. Yeah. Okay, we were just here just this past uh, a one, week ago. One week from today. Yeah. Okay. And we had all the hog activity. Yeah. Right? Um, we had left on the fridge. The conch shell looks okay, but but what I want to get to is uh, very important. Okay. I had left a charged battery out here, and I had left a depleted battery out here. The, the depleted battery was recovered. It was recovered. Right, over, right here. over here. Okay, and they were in plastic bags, and we found both plastic bags, but we did not find this. Okay, <laughs> this right here. There it is. There it is, right there. It was. Uh, I, it was not there last Friday. Now I'm gonna pick it up. Here you go. Now look. It was not there last. Okay. Friday. Okay. Now let's have a close look to see if critters chewed on it or whatever. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. Okay, it does look like there is some small teeth marks, but that's that's it. It doesn't look like it's been, you know, like it's been rusted right here too. It doesn't look like it's been chewed on. Okay. Now I was going to carry my multimeter out here uh, just to test the voltage on it because I had an experiment test. Okay, I'll test it at my house when I get home. Just so that you know, this is so this isn't a rig game. All right, that top. Can you tell? That top right there is rusted. Okay, can you see it? Yep. Okay, that top is rusted. Mm -hmm. All right. So just let just let you know that that uh, you know. It's I, I can't I can't swap it out at my house and fake you out. So we're going to inst we're interested to see what the voltage is on this. But it was brought back. Okay. <laughs> a critter would have had to jump back up here. And lay it up back up here. Yeah. It would have had to jump back up here and lay it there. <laughs> lay it there just like that. I, I saw it right away. Okay, this has been flipped upside down. Okay. And it was clearly on the fridge. Fridge. So something's flipped it up and left it like that. Okay. The cup, the, the cup is once again, the cup is once again turned right side up again and it has a pattern. Okay. Of golf, uh, it's a triangle pattern going on here. Okay, so let's leave the pattern and just flip it over, Chris. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay, so let's just so we're gonna leave the pattern, but just turn it like that. Let's flip it, okay, and let's just talk to whoever we think might be playing the game out here with us, okay? So, and there is something over there I want to show you. So you know, let's go over there and look at that real quick. Okay. So I don't know what you go. Show me, show me. Is it oh, on? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Went over here. Honestly, take a look. Look what I see. <laughs> oh my goodness, the golf ball. <laughs> and look, there's one over there. There's our three golf balls. There's now, the three golf balls. They're not going to sprout legs and walk over here, Chris. No, they came back. Yeah, they came back. <laughs> the golf balls came back. They came back. 
we've been around over here. We've looked all over for the golf balls. There's the other one. Do you see it over there? Yeah. And I just noticed that one when I walked over here. What we really want is the jar. So if you can bring us the jar, that would be great. We see the we see the golf balls. Well, hold on, Betty. Hold on, Betty. Go back to the fridge. 